way back in 2020. Seems like a lifetime ago, this Red Harrier was my long-term test car. Now, all the cars on the Evo fleet are used extensively, but when this Harrier came, that was in the second half of 2020 when things were just starting to open up, I wasn't flying anywhere. No sir, wherever I was needed, I drove down. So, from our base in Pune, I drove all over Maharashtra to Goa. When I had to go to the Chennai racetrack, I drove down in this Red Harrier. When we had to go to the BIC, I drove down. To the snows of Narkanda, I drove down. To Udaipur, we drove. We clocked massive miles on this Red Harrier. And the reason I'm telling you all of that is to lay the foundation of what we're going to do. And that is dive into the updates on this, the Red Dark Harrier. The headline is of course, it is all black. Now, the dark treatment is not new to the Harrier, but it is even more tasteful. You'll notice the Tata logo, that is in black. Everything is in black. There's a hint of red here that tells you that this is the red dark, but there's no chrome around the headlamps, around the DRLs, around the air dam, none of it. This has got the factory chrome delete. The wheels, these are new, 18-inch wheels. The Harrier earlier had 17-inch wheels, and the red dark gets these red brake calipers. Also, hashtag dark, the badging on the side. Now, if you notice in profile, the chrome strips around the windows, the chrome on the C-pillar, all that has been taken out. The Harrier also now gets rear disc brakes. So you get the red brake calipers on the rear as well. And over on the rear, the Harrier lettering, that's in black. The Tata logo, it's in black. Everything is in black. Everything looks really tasteful, really nicely done. But this is probably enough black. And that's why on the inside, you get a lot of red. And this is where the red on the red dark comes in. The red seats. Now, the first time that I saw this at the Auto Expo, I was like, whoa. But Honestly, this looks really cool. Of course, it will be a bit polarizing and those who don't like it can always opt for the white leatherette. But this, I think, looks really cool. Very interesting, very in your face. Now, there's more red. You have red on the handles out here. You have red on the door grabs. You have this blacked out Tata logo, which I think is very tastefully done. The steel effect on the dash, the center panel, that contrasts well with the rest of the dash. Everything else is in black. So the black and the red, they contrast very well and it all looks very cool. And of course, there is the other big, big update. The big infotainment screen. What you get is a 10.25 inch infotainment screen along with a new operating system. Now, like many luxury car manufacturers, you can customize the widget. So you can add widgets, you can take out widgets. It gets an air purifier with an AQI index. Right now, the air in the cabin is getting purified. Now, connectivity is a very big deal. And this gets wireless Android Auto as well as wireless CarPlay. And unlike in the past, the Google Maps display, it takes up the entire width of the screen. The resolution is good. The responsiveness of the screen is good. And also the quality of the cameras are very good. Now this gets a 360 camera. That's also a new addition with 3D views. This 3D views is actually great fun to play around with. So you can adjust the views left, right, up, down. You have the fixed view angles so you can turn it all around you have the 2d view so this is the front the rear the sides the top view you also get the side view now this actually the first time i saw the side view was when i drove a range rover a couple of years ago so that is technology from range rovers filtering down to suvs that you and i can actually buy so that's the quality of the 360 camera. But the big inclusion in this is the ADAS features. So to get to the ADAS features, you go to driver assistance and that's where you get all 10 of these ADAS features. So the first and the most important is the forward collision. You can get the forward collision warning only or you can set it to collision warning 
plus autonomous emergency braking. So if it detects a cyclist or a dog or something jumping across in front of you and you haven't reacted in time, it will slam the brakes and make sure that the Harrier stops before it hits an obstacle. Now, in case the traffic is very chaotic, you can just set it to the warning only or you can even switch it off completely if you do not want it. Other stuff that it has is traffic sign recognition, high beam assist so that you do not blind the cars coming at you, lane departure warning. And that brings me to the seven inch digital cockpit. That is also new. And the lane departure warning, that indication comes up here. In fact, this digital cockpit has a lot of features. You can configure the displays. You can have a minimal display. You have a digital taco, digital fuel gauge and temperature gauge. You can also get a GeForce meter out here on the digital cluster. Back to the ADAS features, the lane departure warning, like I said, can come the indication comes on the digital cluster we have rear cross traffic alert door open alert blind spot detection that comes on the wing mirror so it tells you if something is in your blind spot you also have blind spot cameras so hit the left indicator the left camera comes on right indicator the right camera comes on and if there's a car or bike in your blind spot this flashes red there is also an audible warning so it tells you that there is something out there and to be careful you also have a rear collision warning so when you're reversing and you can't see a car coming at you from the opposite side this will detect it and it will tell you about it it will also stop the car so that it does not get into a incident you can adjust the park assist the blind spot monitor that I already showed you. So these are the 10 ADAS features and that is one of the highlights on this, the Red Dark Harrier. In addition to those safety features, the Harrier, it also gets ESP, six airbags, there are disc brakes at the rear, it also gets driver drowsiness alert, it gets after impact braking and panic braking alert. All of this, it just enhances the driving experience of the Harrier. In fact, for highway cruising on our Indian highways, the Harrier, it drives really well. It can sustain triple digit speeds easily and comfortably. The high speed stability is absolutely phenomenal. You see bad roads and you don't have to slow down for it. It just goes through, goes through everything like a champ. The whole SUV underpinnings, it can really take a solid beating. And it fills you, the driver, as well as all your passengers with just so much confidence in its abilities. You can chew in miles all day and at the end of the day, you will emerge really nice and fresh. I know because we've done long, long distances. Pune to Chennai at one shot and we were not exhausted by the end of it. And now with all the added ADAS features, that whole safety net that the Hadier envelopes you with, it just makes it easier, more comfortable and less stressful really. The powertrain I'm really familiar with. This is the same 2-litre diesel engine made it with a 6-speed automatic gearbox. Now this engine, it has been upgraded to the new BS 6.2 emission norms and in that upgrade, Tata Motors have also remapped the engine to make it breathe better at higher altitudes. The gearbox mapping has also been redone to make it smoother and all of it, it just incrementally betters the whole driving experience. Like for instance, these speed breakers, the amount the other cars have to slow down for, you really don't have to slow down for it. You can just fly over speed breakers. It goes through so easily, so comfortably. It just soaks it all in. And in terms of performance, there is plenty. 168 bhp when you stick it into sport mode 350 newton meters of torque and it can effect overtakes easily really quick the gearbox responses are quick so you tap on the pedal shifts down one cog make a quick overtake so that just makes it not only faster on the highway but more importantly safer because you don't have to make any mad lunges to overtake cars or trucks in front of you it just does it so quickly that you are out of that danger zone very easily. In terms of handling also, there is body roll. This is obviously an SUV, but it grips well. 
and most importantly it fills you with confidence the confidence to tackle indian highways the harrier it always had a good driving position great view ahead the seats now they are cooled plus it has memory function and that comfort access so when you switch off the car it slides back to make ingress and egress easier so small touches but it just enhances that experience of the harrier the harrier is a five seater as we all know but there's plenty of space for five this is a genuine five seater with enough shoulder width also so that three people can sit abreast comfortably in the back and also you have this big panoramic sunroof lets in a lot of light into the cabin makes it seem even more spacious so overall this is a great place to spend a lot of time in chew miles on indian highways we've done it in the past and i can tell you from experience in terms of performance the harrier remains solid the 2 liter diesel engine delivers 0 to 100 in 11.5 seconds and that's with the automatic gearbox the gearbox responses are quick In fact, you stick it into sport mode, it gets even more sporty, even more responsive. You get all 350 newton meters of torque on tap, and you can feel the difference in the throttle responses. It becomes more urgent, becomes more enthusiastic, and it involves you even more in the driving experience. I've spent tons of miles in the Harrier. I know what it is capable of. and now with that added safety net of adas better brakes it just is so much nicer and now with all of these updates it actually is really nice to use in the city as well the harrier red dark it will definitely get you noticed it looks gangster it will give you respect people will move out of your way so it's not only great on the highway It's also really nice as a city commuter, as a daily driver. Go to work daily in it, and then on the weekends hit the twisties. And these mid corner bumps just soaks it all in. Doesn't throw the car offline. What a nice way to spend time. If these parts look familiar to you, well, they should because this is where we drove the 2020 Harrier. This is where we brought the Harrier to meet the Safari. This is where we did umpteen Harrier comparison tests, and this is where the Harrier really impressed us. And now we have the Red Dark Harrier. Incremental updates to what was already a solid platform, and it just makes the Harrier that much nicer. <laughs> 